All right, welcome everybody. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade uh, your passwords to a Type 6 encryption on a Cisco device. And the reason why you want to do this is because Type 6 uh, encryption is actually encrypted using AES, uh, Advanced Encryption Standard, I believe that's what it means. But the reason why we want to do this is because Type 7s and Type 5 uh, passwords, they are weak, they're going to be deprecated, and we need to upgrade our passwords on our systems. So in this example, I'm going to be using a CSR1000V 1612.3, and it's actually two simple commands. All you have to do is type in this key config key password encryption, put in the password, and then tell the device to start encrypting all the passwords using AES. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch, and then I'm going to show you some plain text passwords, configure this, and then we'll see everything encrypted using new type 6. Okay. So I've got this router here, and we'll just say username. We'll say CCMP Seth, password, hit question mark, and we can have a type 0, type 7, and let's just do a, we'll do a zero, meaning an unencrypted password will follow. And we'll just say Cisco1234. And then in this iOS version 12, uh, 16.12.3, it says this command has been added to the configuration using a type zero password. However, zero passwords will soon be deprecated, migrate to the supported password type. This is where we're going to migrate to type six, all right? So it kind of warns you, it's like, hey, yeah, we can use it now, but if you upgrade further in the future, this may not be supported and you'll uh, run into some problems. All right, so that was the, the username with password zero. Let's do enable, let's do an enable secret password of password one, two, three, all lowercase. And then let's do some uh, AAA commands here. So we'll do AAA new model and we'll say tacx server question mark give it a name we'll just say ice new and then what is the address of our tacx server let's just say 192.168.100.200 nope doesn't like that it's because it wants ipv4 ipv4 192.168.100.200 this ice server doesn't exist, or this tech ice server doesn't exist. I'm just showing you um, for the passwords. And then this is where we put in the key. What is the key string? So we'll do a type 7. And again, type 7, it's using an encrypted or uh, a weak algorithm to encrypt this string. So when I put key 7, it says specify a hidden key will follow. So I need to have the, the actual encryption of a password that's a key seven. So what I did was I just went on uh, Google, put in Cisco type seven password, put in Cisco one, two, three, encrypted it. And then this is what the actual encryption password looks like. So I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay. And then again, it, it warns me, it says uh, command has been added using type seven password. However, type seven passwords will soon be deprecated. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll hit end. And let's do a quick show run. Show one pipe uh, section, let's say username. So here's a clear text password with a, um, a key of zero. Uh, we'll do section enable. And then here's the enable secret password that I put as password one, two, three, four. And then we'll do section, what was it? Tac X. Tac X. And then here's that key seven, all right, with that encryption uh, string there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to run this command key config key password encryption, give it the new password, and then uh, tell it to actually use it by saying password encryption AES. So we'll go into global config mode, we'll say key config key, password encryption encrypt, hit question mark, and then just hit enter. And then it'll tell you, okay, what is this key? I believe it has to be at least 16 characters. Um, it, I guess it depends on the platform that you're using, but you should make it a pretty 
um, alphanumeric, probably at least 12 to 16 characters. Um, although this this platform right here says minimum of eight characters, but you know, let's make it 16. So you hit enter, it says confirm it. So then let's confirm it, and then that's good. And if we hit the up arrow and still do the show tacx, it still hasn't been encrypted yet. So we'll hit config t and we'll say password encryption a yes. I think that's the only version anyways. Yes, now all of my passwords should be in type six encryption. Okay, hit end, hit the up arrow, and there you go. It changed from key seven to key six right there. And then there's this encryption password right there. Uh, if we were to look at section enable, it still shows a nine, which is the enable secret password encryption nine but then let's look at the username and it changed it to a six as well all right so this is how you can upgrade all your passwords to use type six um, however I guess the enable secret password is the only one although if we do enable secret can we choose the encryption we cannot use encryption types not specifically specified. Okay, so it doesn't allow specifically A6, but it's still better than uh, the type seven encryption password that we had. So, but that is how you upgrade all of your passwords to a type six. Um, so I thought this was very interesting. Um, I haven't seen many videos out there, so this is why I decided to do it. So uh, I hope this was informative for you. And uh, thank you. Bye-bye.